Okay, this has been bugging me about backup and restore. The instructions are not clear at all in documentation on Pirate's website. So I'm gonna tell you about backing up and restoring on this video, the Pirate Lite Wallet. Uh, just to give you a comparison between the Pirate Lite Wallet and the Pirate Ocean Full Node Wallet. The Full Node Wallet, for example, downloads the entire blockchain, which is probably now about nine or 10 gigabytes. The Pirate Wallet Lite does not. The Pirate Lite has a, a wallet file called ARRR-Lite-Wallet.dat, whereas Pirate Ocean app stores the wallet in a different directory, and that file name is wallet.dat. Another couple of differences is the Pirate Lite wallet and the full wallets, they're not compatible, so you can't use one for the other, as well as the Lite wallet encrypts, but the full wallet node does not encrypt. You cannot encrypt it. So that wallet, if you have that on your computer, it is not encrypted. If somebody gets that file or they have access to your computer, your wallet is completely exposed. Whereas the, the light wallet does encrypt and it, once you encrypt it, it prompts you for passwords to do any action such as to send coins or to send or to export or back up your, your wallet. So let's get into how we back this up. But first, before we do any backups, <clears throat> Let's make sure your wallet is encrypted. So you go to the edit menu, choose encrypt wallet, and then you will be prompted for a password. So enter your password, make sure you remember it, click OK. Now your wallet is successfully encrypted. Now that your wallet is encrypted, it's time to do some backup. And the first method is to export the seed phrase. So your seed phrase, because we already encrypted it, your wallet, when we choose export seed phrase, it's going to prompt you for the password, the encryption password. That's the password you just enter to encrypt your wallet. That's a good thing. Once you enter that, it will show you your seed phrase here at the top of this windows. It is the seed phrase. So you can see my seed phrase. If you want to try to restore that, knock yourself out. I doubt there will be any R in there when you get to it. Copy this whole phrase and store it in a safe location, like a, a good, maybe a hardware wallet or a good password wallet that has 2FA encryption or even double encryption like RoboForm uh, at LastPass has 2FA, Bitwarden, it has 2FA as well. The second method for backing up your wallet is to export your private keys. Once you export that, uh, because we already entered the password, I just entered the password, it's not going to prompt me again. So copy your private keys to a safe location. Remember your private keys is your money. It is the access to your money. So reveal them to someone else at your own peril because whoever has, has those keys, they have access to your money and they can send it to another address and you'll never get it back. The private keys, however, on the Light Wallet cannot be restored to the Light Wallet, only to the Pirate Ocean full node wallet. But those keys I find very important. I had a problem with my Light Wallet, could not get it to restore. I had my keys, I restored those keys to the full wallet and that got me back in business. The third backup method, which is uh, really should be the first backup method after your encryption, is to come and find this directory. Like you can see here, I have it typed out uh, users slash Julie or whatever your username is, uh, slash library, slash application support, slash pirate is the location of this wallet here. If you, you get the, that file, then back up that file to a safe location like an encrypted USB drive, or uh, I wouldn't put it on Dropbox. But if it's encrypted and it's a strong password, even if somebody got it, they got they have to know that password. That That is my first go-to method because if my wallet becomes encrypted and I back up, every time I make a change on my wallet, I back up that file. And that way it, I can go back to the last time I made a change. However, between the last time I made a change, if I received more R into my wallet to a new address, I won't get it back like this. That's when you want to go back to your seed phrase or your private keys, because basically the wallet contains your private keys and the, red, the transaction registry. Now, what good is a backup if you can't restore? So let's go through the restore methods. You just backed up your ARR Lite wallet .dat file. Well, to restore it, you simply copy it back with that same name to that same directory and make sure your pirate wallet Lite app is not running. 
So make sure that's completely shut down, copy that back, and then start your Pirate Wallet Lite app and it will, your transactions will be there and your keys will be there. The uh, second method is the, the seed phrase. But before doing that, again, make sure your wallet's shut down and make sure there is no wallet in this directory or in the Windows directory. If there is, rename it. So I renamed my wallet to wallet space copy dot that. That way I have a copy of it. And then when I run, when I run the Pirate Wallet Lite app, I get prompted, do I want to create a new wallet or restore it from the seed phrase? I want to restore it from the seed phrase. I type in my seed phrase and my birthday, and then I can click finish. Now, if you don't know your birthday, you can enter zero, and then it will search from the very beginning of the blockchain for every possible key that is associated with that seed phrase, and you'll get it back. However, that will take three or four days to do that. So prepare to walk away for a long time and it looked like it'll look like that the pirate wallet light client is not working but it just takes a really long time in this case I had my wallet and it took me about 10 minutes to restore so this is what it looks like when it's restoring and like I said mine re restored in 10 minutes in summary for the first backup method make a copy of the ARR light wallet dot that to restore it just simply copy it back to the source location as I show you here which is the library application support pirate that is under your user directory or on Windows you can go to start run type in percent app data percent backslash pirate and it takes you to a directory with the same two files the second method is export your seed phrase to restore rename your existing ARR Lite wallet dot that file then run your pirate wallet light application and when prompted choose to restore from your seed words provide your seed words and your birthday or zero and then let it take its time to search the blockchain for those seed words and restore and then finally this I consider a very critical method as well export your private keys and then if you have a problem especially if these two are not satisfactory you can restore using your private key import in the pirate ocean full node wallet those private keys will restore on a wallet on Mac OS Windows Linux and probably the Android app I haven't used the Android app the same is true for the phrase it will restore on any client uh, but the wallet file will not restore between the two wallets however I have taken my Mac wallet and I've restored it to my Windows wallet so that appears to work that's it hope it helps